Yeah, that looks good. That's good. Hey, so we have a new video series coming up called Shop Talk. Part of that video series entails Q&A. So, if you have any questions for us that we can answer, post them in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another featured garage vlog. Today, we go drag racing. All right, cool. I'm out here at Emerald Coast Dragway. Uh, it's 1130 now. They're going to start the slick tire class here in a bit. And uh, after they're done, we'll go ahead and start making some passes and hopefully put down a better time than last time, which um, if you don't know, the, the last time I was here, that was my first ever uh, experience with drag racing. And the best the best I can muster was, uh, was a 12 something second eighth mile time. So pretty, pretty miserable. My buddy Barrett just pulled up in his 2016 Golf R. Uh, you want to tell the peeps a little bit about what you've done to it and what you expect it to do today? Um, well, it's got a Unitronic Stage 2 ECU and DSG tune on it. It also has a JB4 uh, by Burger Motorsports. Uh, uh, program module stacked on top of it. I raised the boost, another 3 PSI on it. Uh, integrated engineering intake, Unitronic intercooler, Unitronic downpipe, and a uh, 500cc nozzle on an AEM uh, version 2 methanol kit. All right. um, took it to the dyno the other day and it did 366 all-wheel horsepower and 382 pounds of torque. Uh, last time I was out here it had 338 wheel horsepower, 341 pounds of torque, and it ran a 7.6 at uh, 91.25. And you're doing that all in a very plush, comfy, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's full, full stock, um, you know, stock weight and everything weighs about 3,500 pounds with me in it and a tank of gas. Um, does have Toyo R triple eights on it to give it a little bit more grip, but it, uh, it does pretty good. So um, hopefully today I'll be able to run a 7.4 or 7.5 out of it. Right on, man. Good luck yeah. with that. Thanks. Okay, problem solved. Uh, for some reason, the clutch input was required for two-step, and uh, I don't have a, a sensor for that. So I unchecked the box, and now we have pow pow. All right, so first pass, uh, ET of 9692. Um, again, my last ET was 12 seconds, so pretty cool. Uh, the trap speed's pretty interesting. I don't know what that's supposed to equate to for a, for a good ET. But uh, that's also much faster. I want to say my last trap speed was 68 miles an hour. I, I don't know. I'll post up uh, those times later. But um, yeah, so so I have launch control set up again, or two-step, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we'll see if we can't get a better 60 and overall better time. you do your best impersonation of what just happened um the tech kicked in and then and, uh, and i lost here's my best impersonation okay. <laughs> yeah, and yeah that's about it huh oh, here you go <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay second run went slower as you saw uh first gear just spun lots and lots so my 60 foot was slower et was slower and a mile and a half an hour slower so, uh, the, the reason for that is uh, I have my two-step rev limit set at 3,000 RPM, um, but the actual RPM ends up being like 3,800 RPM or, or whatever it, it, it so chooses at that time. It's very inconsistent. I thought I had that issue fixed. I do not. Um, so I kind of just have to drive around that. 
Um, I'll try another pass with two-step. If uh, I still have inconsistencies with the actual RPM, then I'll just shut it off and just roll through the lights. Um, because just rolling through, I ended up with a faster ET. So we'll try that. All right, Barrett, so you've got a couple passes now. Yeah. Uh, how did the car do and what's your way forward? Uh, the first pass that we did was uh, 7.650 and 91.45. 60 foot was uh, not as good as I've done before. We did a 1.738. Went back out, same exact settings. Um, didn't really change anything. Uh, we cut a 1.711, 60 foot, and dropped it down to a 7.597 and 91.35. So, you guys wanna look, now we dropped a little weight off of her because she is kind of heavy. Um, normally it sits about, like I said earlier, 3,500 pounds with me in it. We should be around 3,340 pounds now. So try to get down to a 7.4 high or maybe a low 7.5. Yeah. So we'll Fair see enough. what happens, man. Okay, from left to right are the first, second, and third runs from the day. So I ended up with a, uh, a 9.3 at 80 miles an hour on the third run. There was progression here, from the first run to the third run, and from the first time drag racing to the second time drag racing. So while I ended the day on a high note, there's still a lot to be, um, a lot to be gained here. So I need to get that 60 foot time down, I need to get my launch perfected, and if I can do those two things, I should be in the high eights. If I can rip out an 8.9 um, on these street tires, then then I'll worry about making the car go a little faster um, by you know putting some slicks on it, possibly. Um, so until then, it's just a matter of getting better at driving. That's the first order of business, and then then I'll go back to modifications. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, as you're watching this, it's Friday, the 20th of January, which means tomorrow at 2 in the morning, myself, Disco, Zach, Patrick, and Eric, we're all going to get in the car and we're going to go drive to Ocala, Florida. There, Wanna Go Fast is putting on another half mile event. If you don't know what that's all about, head over to wannagofast.com and check it out. If you're not currently following the Feature Garage Facebook page, now would be a good time to do that. Um, while we're traveling there and while we're there, we're going to be doing a bit of live streaming just so you guys can kind of hang out with us. Okay, that's it for this video. Until next time. Okay, we try for a uh, third gear economically again. It's the very economically. Very, very economically.